the system sharing. So tonight, system sharing, I have uh, choose to share on the four basic because I think we are already in the month of August. So month of August is very important for us to do planning and also to recap ourselves what are the most um, fun, fun, fundamental and also most crucial daily activities that we should do um, when starting from now, actually uh, going into September, which is our new fiscal performing year. So <clears throat> uh, to me, I think last year, uh, last week, I have already shared on the 3S1M, which is a very important song to sing uh, along our journey in Mway business. And other than 3S1, I think this is actually the same part important, which is the four basics. Okay, the four basics is another song that we must know, okay, and we must actually practice it. Not only know, we have to uh, already start practicing it. If let's say you are still new in the business and for the past one to two years, probably due to COVID, okay, maybe um haven't really put everything in action in this uh, four area, I think now is actually a very good time for us to plan out and also to put it uh, into practical. Okay, so I will share it from um, experience wise and also some of the tips on in actually putting all these four steps into um, practice. Okay, so the four basic is actually the, it's like a wheel, okay, just like the first slide I show the four color uh, quadrant in the wheel. So in order to let this wheel roll, um, properly and smoothly, all these four have to be done uh, at the same time and continuously. If let's say one part is missing, imagine uh, your wheel uh, being cut into four parts and then one part is missing, definitely the journey will be bumpy, right? It will not be a smooth ride. Okay, so same goes to uh, MW business. So if let's say today you face some challenge in uh, MW business, I'm sure if you look back into this four basic, you will be able to identify where is uh, actually your um, blocking and also where is the challenging part. So if you know where it's coming from and you know how to do the 3S1M, and 1M is actually meeting and also doing the mentoring, right? And you know how to actually consult and identify and know how to overcome it, then definitely the, the wheel will become smooth again. Okay, but if let's say we just don't look at it, we just avoid it, then of course um, this four basic will not become the um, will not become the catalyst to help us uh, grow the business faster, but in fact it will stop us. Okay, so the first part of this uh, four basic is actually name list. Okay, so in every business, uh, not only uh, MWA business, uh, imagine today if you join uh, any company as a actually as a person who actually need to promote the products, promote the services, you will definitely first need the leads, right? Just that certain industry, um, they will give you a, a list of leads for you to go through. But Mway business is so different and unique whereby your name list is actually from your own social circle, okay? So in, in order to do that, right, is actually to use the nine magic box technique, okay? So nine magic box technique uh, has been uh, shared with you guys in a separate session, but just to recap, it includes like family, friends, your neighbors, your association, okay, your workplace. So all these box of people, total nine of it can actually contribute to our name list. And why we need to build up this name list is because without the name list, um, you are like direction, you do not have a direction where to go, okay? You do not know who is uh, our prospect to actually um, build the business and grow the business volume, right? So the second is actually, <clears throat> I think, important for us to pick up the skill for the nine box. So if you uh, can't recall what is the nine box, the nine box is actually the stranger group. Okay, so in total, this nine box, right, the number nine one is the most powerful. And that is the reason why we need to pick up the skill to uh, being able to associate and keep growing the stranger box. So if let's say you know how to make new friends, you know how to get along with a stranger, that is actually the most powerful whereby your name list will be forever um, non-stop, okay? You will continue grow your name list, okay? But in the first eight box, right, we have to um, do the basic first, okay? Don't go straight to the uh, nine box, right? Because you have so many resources in the first eight box. Okay, have we actually uh, gone through and share with them properly and in a serious note? 
um, how this business works. Okay, and then number three, the nine box is actually um, around us day to day. So um, if let's say while you are building it through the eight box, right, the nine box is actually helping us to continue contributing name into our name list. So it actually um, surrounding us day to day, every day. Just like today, uh, we went for hacking also, we get a new name list, okay? There's a new friend brought by another friend. But if today we take the we take the mode not to know a new person, then probably even that friend bring a new friend to join us hacking, right? You By end of the hike, probably you don't know the name also. But if you are proactive, you, you are already used to making new friends, okay? You are friendly, then uh, this is just like a daily routine to add in name list, okay? And then number four, find a purpose to get connected, okay? So every name list that we have, we need to find a purpose to get connected with uh, them. So of course we need to um, need to catch up, we need to actually uh, understand their current situation, okay? Get, uh, get along and also understand their current, um, any issue with their life or any things that they are looking forward to, okay? So there are the, basic thing for us to get connected, right? So name list meant to be recorded, otherwise it will be just passer by. Okay, so this is something that I always believe. Either you have to be very good in remembering, but um, most of the time it's very hard to trust our, our brain and our, our memory, lah, okay? Because uh, we get to forget easily. So if let's say to avoid that, to me always, uh, I will write it down. Not only name list, but for other things like today's to-do list, I'll have the habit to actually uh, jot it down. So <clears throat> by jotting it down, it helps us to all already permanently keep this name list in your list. But if today you depend on your memory or your phone book, you even if you save it in your phone book, you might have already uh, not remember you have saved this person before. This is what I'm trying to say. So if you have a particular record, which is your name list, that show uh, that actually uh, remind you these are the people that you have in your name list and who you have already contacted, who you are still need to follow up, who is actually new, you haven't taken up any action yet. Okay, it's clearly uh, shown there. So convert our online name list to the useful name list. So I know nowadays um, in social media, it's uh, everything online is very convenient. Probably one day uh, you get to encounter maybe five to 10 different new uh, friends Okay, but it's, um, it's not contributing value uh, as long as we have not converted all these online name lists into a useful name list. So when I say useful name list, at least we have already start connecting with them or we already start to have their phone number. We already start to have a con conversation with them. Okay, so this is how we make the name list um, useful. In short, I would like to quote from our Diamond Edwin. Uh, he always said um, to make that person or your prospect uh, meaningful to you is actually how you how well you uh, make him or her remember you. Uh. Okay, so if let's say it's just a normal high or that you you are still unable to make a person remembering you, then probably that name list is not uh, really powerful and useful yet. Okay, so second, once we have the name list right, uh, the second basic is actually to do the invitation. Okay, so the invitation part, um. If you look at it, name list does not, does not mean anything. Uh, if let's say we do not continue with this second step, which is to do a proper invitation. So why I say so is because uh, maybe you have 100 name list, you have 200 name list, but without any uh, subsequent action is equivalent to new. Okay, And then the second point, of course, invitation is like the key to activate both builders and also customer. So we will not know uh, the people in our name list, whether they will agree to build the business, whether will, they will reject you, they will say no, or they will say yes to the product, uh, is still a big question mark until you do that invitation. And then if let's say you can overcome this uh, mindset, right? If you are building a business, uh, you already used to whether it's a yes or no answer only, only two uh, anticipated answer. So if it's a yes, then you will know whether it's actually a builder or customer the moment you start to get connected with them with the invitation okay and then thirdly is the strategy okay uh, normally in invitation i have mentioned a couple of times which is we uh, we like to use option method so the option method is like uh, we don't ask people tomorrow you're free or not 
Okay, but instead we will ask them uh, either Tuesday or Wednesday night, which one you prefer. Okay, so this is what we're trying to say, option method. If let's say you are more specific with your timetable, you have a more proper planning, then probably you can say uh, either tomorrow 8 p.m. or uh, Thursday uh, 9 p.m., which one do, is uh, more convenient for you. Example is like that. Okay, so no, <clears throat> don't uh, give a very vague uh, invitation uh, because a vague invitation will only um, get back a very vague answer. So, so probably your friend or your prospect might say, uh, see lah, when free, then I'll let you know. So that is actually terminating the invitation already, right? So in order to avoid that such kind of termination, we ourselves have to get this strategy right. Lah. And then the fourth point is actually we have to be clear and understand on our own schedule at the first place. So if you are a person who haven't have a proper timetable or a planning on a, your own weekly at least or a monthly schedule, then first have to do so. Otherwise, uh, you will not be able to effectively execute the invitation because when people say um, tomorrow or, uh, or Wednesday also, I can't, how about Friday? So when they ask like that, and if you are very clear or you have an immediate uh, sheet for you to refer whether Friday you are free or not, then uh, it's very effective in doing the appointments planning. And then lastly, must well versed in the virtual uh, session nowadays. So even though now already reopened back, we can start to have a lot of uh, offline meetup, all that, but you have to be also well versed in the virtual session because virtual session really, really can uh, save up a lot of time. You can just share a OPP if you effectively place an appointment in just within 30 minutes, right? Uh, this is without any traveling times, okay? So the third, third part of the um, four basic is actually the STP. So STP is show the plan or commonly known as also OPP, which is the sharing the opportunity of the business. So in terms of sharing the STP, there's no um, there's no uh, fixed format to, for me. Okay, we Of course, we have a streamlined slide for you to use. You can actually get it from uh, myself or Lynn if you wish to get the STP slide. But what I'm trying to say in terms of uh, presenting it, there's no fixed format or there's no fixed style. Okay, I won't teach you how to present it, how to share it, or must be in this voice, must be in this, in this uh, in, intonation, no. Okay, STP, mainly you have to let yourself know we are just trying to deliver a message. What is the message is basically the, the values of the business. Okay, we need to deliver the value of the business. And because this business is so great that we have so many values, right? So when we share the plan, basically, on top of delivering the value, we need to understand which are the values that that person is actually looking most uh, forward to. Okay, so second is actually um, not necessary in the fixed format I already mentioned just now. So we have to be flexible in terms of the present mode and also the content. You can, of course, add in some of your personal experience, some of the data which you think important uh, in the current trend. There's no wrong. You can actually add in. But if you want to get a view from us, you, you can do so. And number three, a good STP comes from a convinced self and a strong why. Okay, it's never, never, uh, nothing to do with your presentation skill, but to me, it's uh, coming from a very confidence and also a convinced self. So when we say confidence and also a convinced self, whether uh, before you go out there, do your name list, invite people and do STP, ask yourself first, do you really uh, have trust in this business? Do you really believe in the product and the business itself? So if let's say you or you yourself already gained that um, confidence and you are convinced there's no more doubt, then actually a good STP coming from there because the aura and also the energy that you will be delivering when you show the plan is already there, okay? And then, <clears throat> of course, the next thing is, of course, your strong why lah, because um, your presentation and your sharing can be very confident, can be very uh, powerful, but you will still be soulless if let's say you do not know your why. So when you talk about your why, it could be very, very different thing. It could be people who already have a family and then they start to feel struggle with their limited income. Okay, That can be a why for a person to be building the business. And then there could be also be a uh, any person who have a family's um, issue for example probably their parents start to have a lot of uh, illness sickness that actually trigger them to think oh 
I might not have a lot of time to actually pay back them already. So I need to find something that can actually fast track me to get extra income, extra freedom to do things that I'm supposed to do to them. Okay, so these are two examples already, but there are so many, many um, why that you need to find in your own. Okay, it's not that I'm the one who advise you, but we ourselves have to be the one who ask ourselves, what is our why in this business? Okay, so once you find your why, be it financial freedom or anything, okay, you will actually hold on to it very firmly. And then that actually add the soul into your show plan. Okay, number four, not their why, but your own why first. Okay, so when we share plans, of course, we, we want to understand our prospect why. But before we can understand their why, right, when you are able to present your own why in a, a very, um, in a very personal and very um, emo emotion, then of course your prospect will be able to feel it. And that actually trigger higher chance for him or her to share with you uh, his or hers. Okay, and then subsequently is also, we need to uh, have the basic mastering of our company background. Uh. So for example, if I say today, we still do not know um, those basic, like for example, Mway set up when okay in Malaysia forty over years already globally sixty over years okay so all these basic information we should know already and then like uh, the product range that we have in Mway so if let's say this uh core category categories and also the plan how to calculate itself we have not uh, know the basic then of course we have to go through first but once you know the basic right the process of mastering it will include going into the field also it's not like oh keep memorizing keep memorizing keep practicing but never really go into the field so the go into the field part will actually help us to master this part okay and lastly uh not that after we show the plan and then um done our job already of course just now i mentioned when we invite and when we show plan we already expect only two kind of answer one is yes one is no so when it's yes it's abo or apc right so, of course, uh, when it's no or if yes also, we have to follow by this fourth step, which is the most important one, because in a lot of the sales activities or even uh, business building activities, when the lack of uh, follow up and also follow through, it actually contribute to the 70 to 80% of the success rate for a business or even a sales closure. Okay, so <clears throat> you can see the first thing that we need to know is this is actually the most crucial part in four uh, basic steps. Um, this is also what makes it different for a different leader. Like for example, certain leader also do this three step, but what actually distinguish between a different builder in the business is actually how well you do the follow up and follow through, right? So we are actually very blessed because if you look at our all our mentors, right, all our diamonds, our founders EDC and also founders diamond, they are actually very, very, very powerful in terms of doing uh, follow up and follow through. That is also the reason why now today they have such a large uh, network in their group. Okay, so we can actually learn from our mentor and also you can learn from your own field activities, right? So second is actually um, any reversal can happen with this step being performed persistently. So when I say reversal is like initially probably didn't show any uh, high interest. So a good example is like recently one of the uh, atmosphere sky that I share with uh, a prospect two years back is in the uh, 2020. Okay, so in 2022, only that prospect come back and ask more about the information. And in fact, when he asked for more information, he already quite firm he want to get the emotional sky. So after a meet, a physical meet up and a further closure, right, he straight away uh, want to get two unit. Okay, so this is what I'm trying to say. The reversal can actually happen if let's say we perform the follow up and follow through persistently. Okay, and uh, actually for that particular uh, incident, right, the follow up action I have also shared with uh, Lin also the moment we uh, get him to buy actually two unit, then I actually scroll back my conversation with him in the WhatsApp. It's actually, you can see I have consistently since 2020 until 2022, in between every month also got a conversation. But some of it could be just one direction. That means I share him 
some promotion and then uh, he didn't reply anything, but I didn't stop. I still continue to share, share, share. And every time got a trade in also, I share. Okay, so this is how actually you make that reversal happen. And in fact, when I meet up with him, I also ask him, hey, how come you suddenly uh, remember and find me back? Because uh, a lot of time when I text you, you didn't reply anything. But he said it's because of the impression. This is coming from the prospect itself. So <clears throat> it's... Um, Today, we don't have to worry things that we do. You might not see any result yet, but because you are still planting seed. So follow up and follow through is the process of actually um, cultivating the seeds that you have planted. So the uh, don't be the one to actually throw the seed, but you forgot to actually cultivate it, by like water it and then keep watering it is actually the part we do in the follow up and follow through. Okay, and then... Um, one of the strategies is actually to respect and also be sincere. La. So when we say, uh, when we do follow up, follow through, sometimes people will also come back to you, uh, please don't send me this anymore or what. So we can actually uh, communicate politely with them, respect their request, and then try to understand, is it because uh, recently they are more uh, busy or what? So we can actually take everything that uh, come to us in the positive note, and then that actually build out our repo. Okay, and if we are sincere, definitely that person will feel it as well. Okay, and um, technique in actually doing the follow up is actually very relatable to the name list. I use the name list to help on the follow up also. So your follow up listing should be uh, normally incorporated with your name list. Uh, okay, so that in the remark field, you can actually do uh, when is the last time you actually STP this person, and then what is the item that you actually wish to follow up with him or her have you explained about the high ticket item for example or home tech with this person before so the frequency of the follow-up is also um, techniques that we need to master uh, not to like spam people on the daily basis but from time to time when uh, you can actually post the different types of uh, follow-up message sometimes it's our promo sometimes it's a different uh, mid-month flash sale sometimes it's actually uh, some of the uh, new video released by Mway okay so uh, types of follow-up also can be done also differently. For example, you can do the follow-up in WhatsApp. You can also do a short call or you can just uh, pay a visit to them if you know where they stay. That is actually how we can do it. Okay, so non-business related follow-up, this is also uh, important. So time to time, you can actually catch up by asking, hey, how's your kid already? Uh, after the newborn, how is it? So these are the things that we can actually incorporate in our daily conversation with our prospect, okay? So this has come to the last part of uh, the four basics. This is actually the ideal one, okay? That means our hope is that, oh, today, if I say we manage to sponsor someone, we hope them to do this four basic as well, and then the person that they sponsor also be able to do uh, the four basic. But I can only tell you um, the most important is we ourselves because we are the first copy in this business you are the original copy. So if let's say you, we ourselves is not doing these four basics, right? We can't expect the entire network is so perfect like this, okay? So even if we are the one who consistently do it, I just need to let all of us know the sponsoring has to continue, okay? And we have to uh, follow up until the depth. We have to follow up and help our ABO um whoever builders that want to also achieve in this business, help them to build their debt and also their width. And throughout this process, you will realize that a lot of time in your sponsoring and in your entire network, it looked like this. This is the reality. So our job is actually not to uh, give up anyone, but for those who are in the black color, probably some of them, they, they are okay to keep giving you referrals. They are the one who always keep doing the red color box, which is invitation. They invite a lot of people, refer a lot of people to you, but they do not do all the four basics. So it's fine. Actually, we make full use of that and then we can actually help them to grow their debt, right? So along the way, probably we will find someone who actually do that four basic together with us also. So those are the people that we will identify as builder and then we work closely with them and continue to grow this business together in the win-win situation, right? So <clears throat> this is uh, it's important for us to have a concept that the in reality, it will look like this. So if let's say you are a person who don't understand the, the business, you, you have the expectation like left-hand side, probably you will give up or you will uh, let go this great opportunity at too early because you will see along the way probably in your very depth 
then on you will meet up with your leaders. So the key is never let your own self uh, fit in these four color quadrants. We are the one who have to continuously execute. If let's say you yourself have uh, determined this is the business and this is the opportunity uh, right for you, the flexibility is the one that right for you. Okay. So 